Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. How are you doing today? This is Mallory's Place. This is our podcast for March 14th, 2024. I hope you are all having a great day. Um, I hope you all are in a great mental state. Um, if not, we're here for you. Um, just listen and it'll help you um, think of some ideas, some tips on how to rest and relax. Our mission statement here is Mallory's Place is a beacon of hope for families facing adversity. We believe in the power of faith, prayer, and the ability for that belief to be the source of strength and healing. Mallory's Place is an illuminating awareness and extending un wavering support for families grappling with a range of challenges, including addiction, grief, depression, anxiety, sexual abuse, suicidal ideations, childhood trauma, divorce, and domestic violence. We are a sanctuary where no one stands alone. Today, we are going to talk about rest, relax, reflect, recharge, a path for a better you. In today's fast-paced world, it is easy to feel like we are always on the go, constantly juggling, juggling responsibilities and pushing ourselves to the limit. I know there's days that I just work, 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 and it seems like 7, 24-7, and I get to the point where I crash, and I need, I need this for myself. I need to rest relax, reflect, recharge. Um, so Ma at Mallory's Place, we understand the importance of taking a step back to prioritize your well-being. When life feels overwhelming, it is essential to create a space for yourself to rest, relax, reflect, and re reflex. Reflect and recharge. Rest is how you renew your energy. Rest isn't just about sleep. It's about giving your mind and your body a break, whether it is taking a short nap, practicing mindfulness, or simply doing nothing for a few moments. Rest allows your body to heal and reset. It's the in these moments of stillness that your energy is restored, making it easier to face the challenges ahead. Relax, let go of the tension. Relaxation is a key to reducing stress and tension. It's about releasing the pressure that builds up from daily life. Activities like deep breathing, yoga, or spending time in nature can help your mind and body relax. If you can't get out and if you are stuck at a computer in an office and you can put your headset on unless you're by yourself in the office, put on some nature music. They have where you can hear the birds chirp, you can hear the water, you can hear the babbling brook, you can hear nature. And I, I promise you, it will help you relax. When you allow yourself to unwind, you create a sense of peace and calm, which can lead to a better focus, improved mood, and overall well-being. Overall well-being. Reflect. Gain clarity. Reflection is an important step of personal growth. By taking time to look inward, gain that clarity about your thoughts, your feelings, and your experiences. Reflection allows you to learn from the past and make better decisions moving forward. Journaling, meditating, or simply sitting in a quiet contemplation can help you process emotions and discover what truly matters. I know since um, March of 2023, if I'm just like, ah, um, I go to my bedroom and I just sit on the edge of my bed, quiet, peaceful, breathe. Sometimes, sometimes it takes a couple of minutes, a few seconds. Sometimes it takes about a half hour. Then I can go back out and I process the emotions and discover what truly really matters to me. Recharge you, rebuild your strength. Recharging is an act of replenishing your mental, emotional, and physical energy. Just like a battery, we need to recharge that function in order to function at our best. 
This can be through activities that bring you joy, whether it is spending time with loved ones, pursuing a hobby, or engaging in self practices like soothing, bath, um, reading a book, um, diffusing some essential oils. When you recharge, you rebuild your strength that take on whatever comes your way. I love to, when I'm stressed and I'm just down and out, I love to bake. Bake is one of my things that I like to do. And I haven't baked in a long time. And I used to love to bake all the time. My grandkids are always saying, Grandma, can you make donuts? Grandma, can you do cinnamon rolls? Grandma, can you do this? second. Um, sorry about that. Grandma, can you, can you, can you? Well, this weekend I was in a baking mood and I did chocolate cookies with walnuts. I did um, cinnamon rolls and I took chopped up um, some apples and some br brown sugar and cinnamon and cooked them on top of the stove. And then I poured them over the cinnamon rolls and baked it. And then I put icing on it. Oh my gosh, I also add raisins. The kids are like, raisins? And I'm like, yes, raisins. So I was in a baking mood and it felt so good yesterday to be back in that mood. Why, why it matters at Mallory's Place. We support individuals and families facing the challenges of addiction, grief, suicidal ideations, and trauma. We encourage everyone to prioritize self-care because when you take care of yourself, you are better equipped to care for others. Resting, relaxing, reflecting, and recharging aren't just luxuries. They are essential steps on a path of healing and living a more fulfilling life. Remember, taking time for yourself isn't selfish. It is an investment in a better, healthier you. Start today. Rest, relax, reflect, and recharge. And Mallory's Place, we are here to support your journey to well-being. Contact us to learn more about your, our services, and we can help you and your loved ones thrive. Call or text at 828-216-5046, or come see us at 446 South Main Ave, Maiden, North Carolina. We love you all. Hashtag self-care, hashtag mental health, hashtag rest, hashtag reflect, hashtag Recharge, hashtag healing journey, and hashtag Mallory's Place. I love you all. See you next week. Have a great week. We are here for you. You are not alone, and we can't fight this battle alone.